Razaban4hype.com with me. I've got UK's finest promoter, Frank Warren. Frank, not jet lagged? No, not really. I could, if I could get rid of this bloody cough and cold, I'd be over the moon. Did you catch that in Canada when you got back here? Yeah, I did. no, I I've had it for about two months. I just can't shake it off. But Canada, did. listen, it was well worth it. I, you know, to go to Canada and, and witness and be there and see. You know, Billy Joe's performance was well worth it. I, I had a quote where you said the best Christmas present you could potentially receive was Billy Joe being victorious. That's correct. But victorious in that particular manner, in a devastating one-sided performance. I, I didn't expect that. I expected him to win, because I wouldn't have gone there otherwise. I wouldn't have taken him there. I expected him to win, but I thought it would be a tougher fight, and I thought he'd come through with his skills. But it was an outstanding performance. Matador on a ball. And he did not get. He didn't even hit the. Didn't even hit the, the cloak, did he? He just missed with everything. And Bill was outstanding. It reminded me of Kawasaki and uh, Lacey going back all those years, watching that fight. But Bill, but Joe had the home advantage. Bill went into the lion's den and done it in a in a in great fashion. You know, against a, a you know a tough guy, a well renowned well renowned puncher. It was a brilliant performance. A great performance. You mentioned in the press conference. That was Floyd Mayweather, that would be regarded as a genius well, there, performance. It was, and it was a genius performance. You know, it, boxing is the art of hitting and not being hit. And he's a great exponent of that. When he gets himself 100% fit, when he's mentally there, there no, one, no one's going to touch him. So, you know, it, it, now it makes that fight with the winner of Canelo and, Canelo and Golovkin, or if they don't fight, which I think they will, but if they didn't, to fight, follow and fight Bill. He's there now. To, you know, not just going in and fighting Lemieux and winning, it was that platform that he got. He was on HBO Prime Time. All their commentators were raving about the fight. All the American and the Canadian media were raving about it. The Canadian judge didn't give Lemieux a round. He was the guy who, you know, who scored it as a shutout. So to go and do all that, he's put himself in such a fantastic position now that should Lemieux, sorry, sorry should Canelo or uh, Golovkin try not to avoid him, they're going to find it very difficult because you're never going to be the unified champion unless all, all the guys with the belts fight each other. I know you spoke about the fight in particular quite detailed in the press conference, but in terms of moving forward now, you said you had a conversation with Peter Nelson. Do you mind just elaborating on what that No, I just talked to him and said about the future, so I said to him we'd call him, we'd talk by the end of this week, which is probably tomorrow or Saturday, and see what, you know, what they're interested in doing. But you know, it looks like Bill will be fighting over here, unless the Canelo Golovkin fight doesn't happen, then we'd be really pushing for him to fight more or less. Danny Jacobs, um, he been quite vocal in media. Yeah. He, well, he went Instagram live while the decision was being made and said that he wants that fight. Um, he's with Eddie Hearn. Yeah. Um, and so it's potentially a big fight. Is that a fight that interests you? And Billy, I know Billy will fight anybody, but is that a fight that interests you? Well, I've got to look at it from the champion's point of view. And he's the champion, so it's not going to be on anybody's terms except for the champion, because it'd be a voluntary defence to start with. Secondly, you know, his last fight, Daniel Jacobs, in the States, in his hometown, they didn't sell 2,000 tickets. So if it was going to happen, then we would have it over here, and it would be on BT, and that's the end of it. If It's a big if, if we decide we're going to go down that road, and that's where we're at with it. If the thing, they threw a lot of money at you, would you go and fight on Well, whether they throw at us, we can throw back, can't we? Yeah. But we don't need to throw a lot back because he's the champion. Yeah. If it was to go to purse bid, the champion, would, he would have 80% 80 80 of the purse bid money. Yeah. So that's what it is. It's that, That's how it will work out. And I've got to think to myself, do I want to put Bill in with a guy who draws 2,000 people in his home hometown after coming off a loss, by the way, you know, a real, you know, a, a, a very good challenge against Golovkin, but he lost it by a round, and some people, you know, said it was a very touch and go, and it was a close fight, and he done well, but he didn't win. Mm. And at the end of the day, he did win. Mm. Who, who had the, you know, he, he's the guy who's, who's had the standout performance, mm. so that's really where we're at. And uh, if we do make it, and it's a big if, it'll be 100% on our terms. End of story. After William Monroe's <coughs> the victory of William Monroe, he had a week off before he went straight into camp. Yeah. How, is it, how important is it for Bill now to kind of just maintain the habits he's picked up at the Ingo Gym? It's very, it's very important. I mean, he won't have a week off. He'll have, a, he'll have a, you know, a couple of weeks out, two or three weeks out at least. Um, he's been in camp solidly for nearly six months now, so that's a long time. So your body needs to recuperate from that. He needs to rest his body up from all the physical. Uh, 
run down what you're Exertion doing. and so forth. So now he'll have a nice Christmas and then back into it, as I say, be out in the spring.